She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. Hello and how are you? H E L L O H E L L O H E L O O Hello and how are you? Hello my friends and I am so happy you decided to tune in today. I have a marvelous read aloud for you and it's about a princess. Yes, but this is an unusual princess and she's going to have unusual clothes and the story is called the Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. Have you ever heard of the story of Paper Bag Princess? Hmm, what do you think this story might be about? Yeah, I think it may be about that too. Well, without further ado, let's talk about our new literacy skill that we're gonna be discussing today. We're gonna to be talking about drawing conclusions. What did you ask? Did you ask me what was drawing conclusions? Well, you know what time it is. It's time for our thinking board and our thinking board is going to tell us exactly what drawing conclusions is. So let's head to our thinking board. Thinking board, thinking board. Information from the text, plus what I already know, helps me to draw conclusions. The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all of her clothes with his fierce breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. <gasps> oh no! What do you think is going to happen next? I think so too. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Prince Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing that she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to find because he left a trail of burnt forest and horse bones. Do you see the trail? What else did he burn? Look at the trees. What are the trees missing? Can you see what the trees are missing? <gasps> I agree, there are no branches, nor are there leaves. So that dragon and his fierce breath definitely burned them down. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but... I have already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door once again. The 
dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away! I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait! Elizabeth shouted. Is it true that you are the smartest and the fairest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fierce breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge deep breath. Can you take a huge deep breath? <gasps> and he breathed out so much fire that he burned up 50 forces. <gasps> Fantastic, Elizabeth said. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up 100 forces. Can you help me? Can you pretend you're the dragon and blow out 100 forces? Ready? Five, four, three, two. <gasps> blow it out. Magnificent. Elizabeth, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath, but this time, nothing came out. <gasps> Why do you suppose that nothing came out? Do you think he ran out of his fierce fire breath? <gasps> I think so too. Let's tune in and see what happens next. The dragon didn't have enough fire left to cook a little old meatball. Elizabeth said, dragon. Is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? <gasps> Why, yes, said the dragon. And he jumped up and flew all around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, fantastic. Do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he lay down and went straight to sleep. What do you think Elizabeth is up to? Sounds like she had a plan to make sure that dragon was tired. Give me a thumbs up if you think she successfully made sure that the dragon was tired. <gasps> I think I agree. Let's see what happens next. <gasps> Elizabeth whispered very softly, hey dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lift the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could. Hey, dragon! Can you shout that really loud? As loud as you can? Can you say, hey, dragon? Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired that he didn't even move. So now this is where our special skill comes in. Do you remember what we learned about drawing conclusions? Well, as I read this page, I want you to think about what the author is telling us about Prince Ronald. Then I want you to think about what you know about someone who may have different characteristics and what their characteristics could possibly be. And we're gonna to try to draw the conclusion about the character Prince Ronald. So, so far we haven't learned a lot of information about him. We just know 
that Elizabeth and Prince Ronald was going to be married. But then here came the dragon and carried Prince Ronald away. We know that the dragon burnt everything. He burnt the castle and he burnt all of Elizabeth's expensive clothes. So what did Elizabeth have to wear in replace of all of her expensive clothes? Do you remember? You're right, she had to wear a paper bag. And that's the reason why the story is called a The Paper Bag Princess. So let's see how Ronald responds to Elizabeth. It says, Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you look a mess. He looked at her and said, You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled. And you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. Oh no. Were you expecting Prince Ronald to respond to Elizabeth like that? Look at his face. I think he looks upset. Do you think he's upset with her? Look at Princess Elizabeth. She looks like she's very sad. How do you think she feels about the way that Prince Ronald is responding to her? Did he use kind words? Hmm, let's take a look and see how she decides to respond to him. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. <gasps> I wasn't expecting for her to say that. They didn't get married after all. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in a land of make pretend. Bum, bum, bubbly, bum. Ba -la 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 -la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Hmm, let's check for understanding. What do you think about Prince Ronald? What words, remember we talked about adjectives. What adjectives, what describing words come to your mind when you think about Prince Ronald? I think about ungrateful and rude. I think that Prince Ronald was a little ungrateful because Princess Elizabeth traveled so far and worked so hard on the perfect plan to get the dragon to be tired so she can rescue Prince Ronald. And he never said thank you. And he never said, um, I think you're an amazing person because you were determined to rescue me. So based on what I know, I would say that he was a little rude and he should have been grateful. What do you think? I think so too. What about Princess Elizabeth? What do you think about Princess Elizabeth? Yes, I think she was very determined. She was a very hard worker and she made sure that she did not stop until she rescued Prince Ronald. What else do you think about Princess Elizabeth? I think she was nice and kind also. So as you see, not every story has a marvelous ending, but if you remember the last page, Princess Elizabeth went skipping along and we can draw the conclusion to say that she is very happy with her decision and that she is going to live happily ever after. I hope that you like this story. Remember, if you did not give it a thumbs up, 
give it a thumbs up and subscribe so the next time that I upload one of our marvelous read aloud experiences, you'll be the first to know. Until next time, so long!